The United States adopted a policy of disengagement with Somalia after its retreat following Black Hawk down. Today, an Al-Qaeda affiliate, Al-Shabaab, controls significant territory in that country. What can the United States do to prevent Al-Shabaab from posing the same threat that Al-Qaeda did from Afghanistan 10 years ago? Congressman Paul? You're talking about Al-Qaeda, correct? No. You have to understand who the Al-Qaeda uh, really is. The, the Al-Qaeda responds in a very deliberate fashion. Matter of fact, Paul Wolfowitz explained it very clearly after 9-11. He said that Al-Qaeda is inspired um, by the fact that we had bases in Saudi Arabia. So if you want to inspire Al-Qaeda, just meddle in, in, in that region. That will inspire the Al-Qaeda. Matter of fact, he went on to say that that was a good reason for us to remove the base that we had had in 15 years in, uh, in Saudi Arabia, and that we shouldn't have done that. So there is a response. Al-Qaeda responds to that, and, and they are quite annoyed with it. So if you drop, if you have a no-fly zone over Syria, that's an act of war. Uh, what, what if we uh, had China put a no-fly zone over our territory? I don't think, I don't think we would like that. And I think we should practice a, uh, a, a policy of, uh, of goodwill to, to other people. What, what about uh, uh, saying that we don't do anything to any other country that we don't have them do to us? When we had a no-fly zone over Iraq, it was for meant to be regime change, and evidently some want to have regime change. But what is our business? Why, why should we spend more money and more lives to get involved in another war? That's an, that is the internal affairs of right. the other nations, and we don't, want, we don't need another nation to start nation building. We have way too many already. So this is just looking for more trouble. I would say, why don't we mind our own business?